My job as a doctor is to alleviate their suffering. It's not to be a vending machine when they make a good rational argument that they'd be better off dead. It's like being a lawyer for the defense and the lawyer for the prosecution in the same courtroom. Am I arguing for the health and well-being to extend life as long as is reasonable? Or am I advocating for their early demise because after all, they're gonna die anyhow. And then, by the way, if you don't think that's a conflict of interest, I'm also the judge to decide which argument's the best. And if you're not bothered by that, I'm also the executioner. There are about 200 doctors in the state of Oregon who believe they can keep all that conflict of interest straight. It's a delusion. If society is going to do this, if, if they believe that situational killing is the right answer for some illnesses, diseases, some points in life, then it should be someone outside of the house of medicine to avoid that inherent conflict of interest. Because after all, up until recently, there is no crystal ball reading course in medical school. And I say up until recently because for the first time in my university, in my department, some of my colleagues were teaching young doctors in training how they go about ending their patients' lives.